Welcome back, I'm Chael Lorino and I play Captain Xavier, and it's time for that obligatory end of the year, start of the new year, future of the channel... thing. So I'm gonna do it. I have notes. Hopefully it'll keep me from rambling too much. That hasn't worked out so far. But, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for the support that you've given me so far. I never thought I would be where I am today, and it is entirely because of the support that I've gotten from you guys. When I was first featured on Walcom's channel, I really didn't have any plans to take it anywhere, but I got so much feedback from people who wanted to see more of my stuff that I went ahead and gave it a try. And now I'm here in my maker space on you know, my property and planning trips to Europe and Australia and I've been all over the country. It's been absolutely baffling. And last year, I traveled more last year than I'd traveled in the previous decade. I traveled all over the United States, uh, and a lot of those were sponsored, where somebody, you know, we want you to come so much, we're willing to pay for it. Like, really? What? Me? Who? Sure, let's go. Um, and I'm, I'm wanting to do more travel, uh, and, and more of that, and meet more of you, and go to more events, and, and give back in more ways, and, and I'm really, really hoping to do that. And unfortunately, a lot of that requires, you know, one, time off, which... Nerf and, you know, YouTube is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job. I work for Dell, um, you know, and so time off is limited. Um, I can, to a degree, work while I travel if I'm within the United States, but generally I need to take the time off, and there's a limit on that. And then, of course, finances limit things. I will talk about support and all of that and ways you can support the channel uh, at the end of the video because I don't want to ramble about it. Um, but it's gonna be so much fun because I, I do have a lot of uh, freedom and opportunity and, and, and there are things that I can do that I never thought I'd be able to do and it is entirely because of your support and I, I thank you for that. Last year was just fabulous. Ah, so what am I planning to do this year? I do want to get a better camera and I do want to get better uh, video editing software so that I can increase the general production quality of my videos. I have a much nicer space now. I can actually set up lighting and sound and and do things a lot better that I couldn't do before, and so it's definitely time to stop filming with my phone and using Windows Movie Maker for editing my videos and take that to the next level. Um, so that's definitely on, on, on my list of things to do. So if you guys have suggestions on good editing software or good cameras, uh, go ahead and put them in the, in the description. Give me links and stuff, uh, because I have no real expertise in either. <laughs> because that's just not my area of expertise. So if you guys have good suggestions, by all means, please let me know. Uh, especially if, like for the video editing software, if you know of one that's got good tutorials so that I can learn it quicker, it will probably result in, as I'm experimenting with them, with probably a dip in production quality followed by an increase in production quality, hopefully. We'll see. Um, what I'm planning to do video-wise, I do plan to continue to try to get at least three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, in the various series that I have. And again, like I did last year, I may add some new series and remove some series or do them less frequently so that I can add more. Obviously, I need to do all of the loadout videos for the auxiliary, uh, all of the, you know, the, the roles, the various, you know, hunter and infantry and heavy and, and show off all, how all those are all going to go. Uh, I do also want to add um, some action videos, more more of stuff of me actually using stuff in the field, especially loadouts. I'd like to, you know, when I build a new blaster, then build a loadout around that blaster and then use it at the next event. Uh, I want to do videos of that, where you can actually see the blaster that I've built being used on the field. Was it effective? Wasn't it effective? What worked? Was it, you know... I definitely want to do a lot more of that. I would like to try to do Goodwill loadouts again. I don't have nearly as many Goodwills near me. There's one 30 miles north and one 30 miles south as opposed to 10 within a 10 mile radius when I was up in Tacoma. So I won't be able to go to Goodwills as often, but I'd like to take advantage of that more and use that more because they are for some reason so incredibly popular. I'd like to do Goodwill loadouts where I build a loadout using nothing but stuff that I found at Goodwill. Uh, and taking that to war and seeing how I can, how effectively I can run it. Uh, so, those are some of the ideas I have. I, I do want to do a lot more collaborations, especially with the local YouTubers. Um, I owe a great deal to both Out of Darts and Walcom. Uh, Walcom is the one who, you know, discovered me, as it were, and, and is definitely the reason that I have a YouTube channel. Um, Out of Darts was responsible for me being able to make tier functional and therefore 
Uh, a lot of my, my sudden jump in popularity uh, and the size of my channel was the result of my Proton Pack builds, which I owe completely to him, and so I'd like to be able to give a lot more back to him through collaborations. Um, and I'm doing reviews and basically, you know, helping promote his business because he now is full-time doing that between his YouTube channel and uh, his, his selling Nerf stuff, and I'd, I'd really like to be able to help with that. Um, also, I've got Luchathor13, who I do reviews under pressure with for his channel, and I've got um, the Nerf Curator, who's been doing Forgotten Nerf with me. Uh, I'd also like to help out uh, Silver Fox Industries, because he sells Nerf stuff, some of it, which is his own design, others are... You know, other people's design, he sells Caliburns and Talon Claws, but then he also does resin casted parts, and I'd like to help him out because he is a member of the crew and, and local. Um, I'd also, I'd love to do more videos with Brett because he's just fun. He does silly and irreverent stuff, and I would love to get in on that more. Uh, I definitely want <clears throat> to be able to do more uh, <clears throat> event stuff. I'm still atrocious at actually filming the events that I go to and between, you know, the vlogging as I'm going and then getting action footage of me at End War or whatnot, I'm horrible at it. Uh, I want to get better at that, want to get more, more cameras, better cameras, be able to put cameras on all of the crew so we can get various angles and footage and, and, and all of that. I want to be able to do uh, footage of the events that we hold here at the Makerspace, uh, the, the mod parties, and once I actually start hosting events here, I want to get good footage of that. And I'd love to be able to live stream those, but the internet here is so poor that, that I don't know that that would work out well. I think it would end up with really poor quality video that would not make anybody happy. Um, hopefully someday we'll get fiber here. Who knows? Uh, but at the very least, I can film all of that and then spend hours editing it and uploading it, or just upload it raw. <laughs> just like, here it is! Deal with it! Um, obviously, I want to host events. I want to do more mod parties. I want to do events for things like Boy Scouts or company retreats or things like that. I want to do community Nerf Wars. I want to do the big public Nerf Wars. I want to have competitive stuff. We've got the, uh, the, the, the four-weapon challenge arena that I set up. I want to start a Blaster Tag Association group up here and host tournaments for that. I want to host regular, you know, 150 cap FPS wars. I want to host then more high, um, high cap um, competitive stuff for the people who really want to, you know, high tune their, their HPA build or their caliber and they're all adults and they're willing to get a couple of welts. I want to do stuff like, like that, possibly, you know, a weekend long, one day is the low cap, second day is the high cap, and, and you know, allow for camping on site or things like that. Uh, obviously, that's there are some restrictions to that, which again, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss some of that later. Obviously, the auxiliary is going to be a huge part of this year. I launched it last year and then just did not have the time and the energy to, to, to really be as involved as I really, really want to. And this year I'm hoping to correct that. There's going to be a lot more training videos and uh, direct involvement with me. I'm going to be going to a lot more events and we're actually going to be organizing. A uh, big part of that is going to be organizing the logistics so that a lot of the stressful planning stuff that you have to deal with on your own, travel and food and housing and, and knowing where to go and knowing what the rules are, try to smooth all that out so that it runs smoother for us, which will then make it run smoother for the events and uh, hopefully make the events a lot more fun. That's gonna be, that's gonna be really, oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Uh, that's kind of the reason I'm getting to travel all over the world now, is auxiliary and other countries are going, come hang out with us. Like, I would love to. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be cool. So at this point, suggestions. Um, I know what I kind of want to do, but since this is really a service for you guys, I really would like as much feedback from you guys as I can get. What kind of videos would you like to see me do? What videos have I done that you want to see more of? What videos have I done that you really didn't like? I know a lot of, you know, the review videos are not particularly popular when I'm reviewing random stuff from Amazon companies and from Banggood and whatnot, but that, that really helps keep the channel going because I get free stuff that I then don't have to pay for, or in some cases I actually get paid for some of those. Um, we'll discuss that um, a little bit later. Um, but what kind of videos would you like to see? What series would you like to see? Do you want to see loadout videos, action videos? Would you, um, what kind of builds would you like to see? Are you enjoying the, the really pr practical or really powerful builds? Do you want to see more of the silly stuff, like the tactical jolt? Um, silly loadouts. I know people wanted to see a, 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 a proton pack powered jolt, which doesn't really work. But I, I might be able to do like a proton pack powered knockout. You know, I could do, I could obviously do silly videos. I, I tend to like to prefer 
building slightly more practical stuff, but obviously I've built some incredibly impractical stuff. And some of my, my, my most viewed videos were recommendations that were clearly meant as a joke, like, you should make a tactical jolt. I should make a tactical jolt. And then it ended up being one of my most viewed videos. So give me suggestions. What do you think would, would, would you like to see? Also, what kind of events would you like me to go to? Obviously, I want to go to the big ones, End War, Ragnar Oktoberfest, West vs. Zombies. I'm going to Foam Fest in England. Uh, not planning to do Jared's Epic Nerf Battle this year for a variety of reasons, unless they invite me back, which is just not going to happen. Uh, but a lot of the, the best events that I went to were ones I was invited to. The anti-bullying event in Minnesota, the uh, Nerfing for Autism event in North Carolina. Uh, those are both causes that I, I feel very strongly about and I was really, really uh, excited to be able to be a part of and was proud to, be a, to, to have been invited. To, they considered me to be somebody that they wanted to be an ambassador to that and that was, that was really, really cool. And I want to go to those and hopefully be able to contribute to them more and, and help them more and you know advertise for the events more and stuff like that. So let me know if there are events you would like me to go to and if there is any way that I can, I will. Again, there are limitations to that that we'll, we'll discuss towards the end, but uh, give me the ideas that you would like to see. Also, what collaborations would you like to see? What YouTubers would you, do you think would would be a good fit for me to collaborate with. Obviously, the local ones I really want to do, but they're also more of the big name ones that I met at Jared's Epic Nerf Battle that I would love the opportunity to work with if they were interested. They all expressed an interest in doing stuff with me because the minigun was so cool, and then I just wasn't able to that, that the, in the year that preceded that, uh, or that, that followed that, and then last year there was just so much going on. Uh, but I would love to actually reach out to them and see, hey, are you still interested in this? Is this still a possibility? Now I might have the opportunity to actually be able to, you know, to afford to travel and stuff like that. Uh, let me know if there are also non-Nerf YouTube channels you think it would be neat for me to collaborate with. I am open to all sorts of ideas. Um, and then, of course, reviews. You know, what sorts of things would you like me to review? I want to do reviews for Out of Darts, so you can go through his website and see, hey, could you give me a review on this? Um, Banggood I currently have an affiliate program with, so not only do I get the stuff that they send to me, I actually get paid if you buy stuff uh, through my links, so if there's stuff on Banggood you want to see, they've got all kinds of stuff. RC cars, 3D printers, tools, Nerf stuff, tactical stuff. Um, just about anything on there that you would like me to review, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm, I'm happy to review things that I don't have any personal use for because I can then give those away. Uh, and and um, I would, there's a good chance I'd give them away to the person who recommended that I do the review. You know, I would love to be able to give more stuff away. Um, because I, I get sent so much free stuff, really cool stuff, and some of it I just, I don't have a use for, and I would like to be able to give back more. Uh, that's really why I want the recommendations. One, because I get so many cool ideas, but because you're the ones who are watching this. You are the ones who are supporting me. I really want to know what you want to see so that I can provide that, so that my service can be more valuable to you, so that when I ask for support, here in a minute uh, or so, um, it, it'll it seem like you're actually getting something out of it. So let's talk about support. Um, like I said, I, there is no way I could be where I am today without your support. You have given me so much. It's absolutely incredible. The, the generosity some of you have shown has been just unimaginable and the things that you've sent me the I mean I have some of my favorite stuff that I have on my wall were things that were sent to me by fans uh, and the the financial support that I was given when I wanted to try to get this place um, people were like you you should start a GoFundMe there are people who want to give and you're like that seems kind of sleazy and they're like no it's perfectly legitimate do it and then I did and the money was raised and I didn't end up using it for that for the down payment on the house which is the original plan and there were people who were like, well, he's just trying to get his fans to buy him a house. I'm like, The GoFundMe is for one one-hundredth of the price of a house. It's, it's a tenth of the down payment. And I didn't end up using it for that. I ended up being able to, to pay for the house with my own money. And then using the, the funds that was given, all went into the makerspace. You know, the shipping container was the first part, and then all of the, the building materials and a lot of the tools, all of that went into that. Um, and I, I'm, I'm glad that it got used for that instead of towards the house. Um, and I don't plan to ever do a GoFundMe again. I mean, even for like travel, I, I, I don't think I'm ever going to need it because I'm never going to be making that huge of a financial leap again unless I decide to build a larger shop. Maybe I would for then, but even then, probably not. Um, so instead, I, they, they also talked me into starting a Patreon so that people could give a little bit or a lot. Some people have given an incredible amount through Patreon. You're like, how? Why? But for a lot of people, it's $1. I mean, there's a, a whole bunch of Patreons that I give $1 to because 
I appreciate their channel, that they're the, the the entertainment and the and the education that I am able to get from that channel, I appreciate that, and so I, I give back to them as, as as much as I can, and so yeah, I obviously Patreon will be down in the description, and if you want to go there and contribute a dollar, you know, I've got a hundred thousand some odd subscribers. If a one in a hundred of you gave me a dollar, that would be a thousand dollars a month, and I would be able to use that for all of the improvements to the channel that I want to do for for travel, for equipment, uh, a lot of that's going to go into buying the consumable materials for the makerspace, glue, solder, switches, wire, uh, all of that. Um, prizes, I'd, I'd be able to do prizes for tournaments and stuff, I'd be able to afford the shipping to be able to give stuff away for free. Um, all of that, that financial support obviously really, really helps, and so anything that anybody can give will be immensely appreciated. But I also definitely understand that some people just don't have that option, either you know, you're not old enough uh, or you just don't have the financial freedom to be able to do that. There have been times in my life where I could not afford to give one dollar away a month. I would have, I would have starved. Um, and so there are obviously ways that you can support the channel that aren't financial. Uh, obviously, um, and this will be the one time you hear me say this a year because I, 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 I don't like saying it, but like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Um, watch the video all the way through. All of those things are, are part of the main uh, attributes that the, the YouTube algorithm looks for when they're deciding which videos to promote. So, how many likes a video has, how many comments a video has, um, how many people watched the video all the way through, how many people shared the video. Those are the things that they look at when they're determining what videos to recommend to people that aren't already subscribed. And that's how you grow your channel. Uh, when more people get recommended your videos and they see one of your videos and they watch it and go, oh, I like this, and they subscribe and then they continue watching your videos, that's how the channel grows. And it, it's more important to the growth of a channel than most people probably realize, and it is such a minor thing to click like and then leave a, a that was cool, comment, or hi, or, you know, you should do this. It helps way more than you probably realize. It helps, it means a lot more than I realize. Um, and I, I didn't realize that watching the video all the way through was as important at it as it is because, again, that, that tells YouTube this is a video that people really want to watch. They watched it all the way through. It must be a good video and so they recommend it to more people. So, you know, little things that you can do that will help the channel immensely that take nothing out of your, your time. Um, because I, I, I want to be able to do more, and I, I don't want to have to do things like put more ads on the videos. Right now I'm doing the bare minimum. I have skippable ads at the beginning of the videos. And I don't put ads on my review videos, because those already are ads, and putting an ad before what is basically an ad just seems wrong. Um, but I don't do mid-video you know, mid ads, and I don't do end-of-the-video ads, and I don't do the little bar that pops up that you then have to close because that would be right where my hands are in most of my videos. Um, so I'm probably making l at least less than half of the ad revenue that I could be making if I included all of those, but it would make the, the experience of my channel a lot less fun. And... Um, I don't want to do that. I would rather go, hey, could you throw me a buck on Patreon than enforcing those ads onto you. So, yeah, um, any, any help that you can give, as, as, even if it's as little as a like on my videos or sharing or mentioning my videos or commenting, hey, I like that, that helps. And obviously just any encouragement because, like I said, I only got into this channel and got this channel going because of how many people said they really liked my stuff and wanted to see more. And getting letters from parents that say, you know, you've really helped my child, they've, they've really gotten into this hobby now and they've made friends, or parents who are saying, you know, I watched the video with my son and we've bonded over Nerf and, and that's really cool and um, all of the stuff that I get sent and just good comments, nice comments saying, cool video, or that was an awesome build, or I love this, or, you know, those help more than you, you probably realize because I deal, uh, I, I battle with depression and anxiety and the, the little encouragements help a lot more than you know. So yeah, any support, any, any encouragement, any support that you're able to give is greatly appreciated. Um, obviously the channel will carry on whether you do or not. If you can't afford to, do not worry about it. Um, things will just take a little bit more time um, as I save up for, you know, a better camera or for a really good video software or, um, you know, if I have to budget differently so that I can make it to all the events I want to, 
that's not a problem. Uh, but if you really want to be able to support, every little bit helps. So, there you have it. Okay, enough rambling, enough begging. Uh, thank you all so much for everything that you've given. Thank you for watching. Ow! Oh, missed. Bang-a-rang! <laughs> <laughs>